Hello and welcome to the preview show for the Hallmark Security Cheshire Football League for weekend of Saturday the 11th of February. As you can see this evening I'm wearing our uh, new Cheshire League interleague kit provided by our new kit supplier SK Kits. Definitely worth a follow. Don't forget news about the grand prize draw coming up in June where a team can win a full strip for just one £20 ticket. Have a think about entering that. Anyway... On with the preview and straight into the Premier Division. This evening I'm going to be covering the league games in leagues in the Premier Division, League 1 and League 2. And then James will follow on with all the internal and external cup matches as well as the reserve divisions 1 and 2. So into the Premier Division. Game 1, Denton taking on Whaley Bridge. Denton 8, they've had three straight wins and must be looking for that fourth. Whaley Bridge haven't played for two weeks and must be looking you know, to, to step up their title challenge, maintain their position at the top of the table. Back on the 16th of August, Whaley were 2-1 winners. They'll want a repeat result tomorrow. Can they do it? That's a question on pretty much everybody's lips right now. Next game up, Eagle Sports against Malpas, 12th for 11th. The thing is, Eagle have taken 10 points from the last 12. They had a diabolical start to the season, but they're on the up. Very much on the up. Malpas... The only win in the last five was that shock result last week, 4-3 against Poynton. So in terms of, you know, which way is that going to go? You would say with form, Eagle Sports. Just want to point out, back in August, Bank Holiday weekend, Malpas were 6-1 winners. But that was when Eagle weren't playing that well. Boots on the other foot now, you might think. Money on Eagle? Let's find out on Monday. Next game, Greenalls, Padgate St Oswald against Rudheath Social. 13th v 14th. They're both in danger of getting sucked into the relegation battle, bearing in mind Style and Garswood's form over the last couple of weeks. Greenalls, they've not won in the league since October. Rudheath, they've won one of the last five league games. Um, they've not actually played in the league so far, but Rudheath did beat Greenalls 5 1 in the League Cup. So, everything to play for, and they could be swapping positions. Watch this space. My money's on a draw. But hey, I can be wrong. Line attack, Cheadle. Heath Nomads against Garswood United. 5th 16th. Garswood United, bottom of the table. But they've won the last two in that relegation battle. And they're looking to close the gap on not just Style, who are actually on the same number of points above them, but on the clubs above them as well. So Rudd Heath and Greenalls, as we've just been talking about. Lino. They've won the last three and they're looking now to press on in that title challenge as well as the semi-final of the Cheshire Cup and the, you know, the, 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 the trials and tribulations that that will bring for the rest of the season. Looking at the form guide, you'd say Lino, but Garswood always been a resilient side and they are recent league champions as well. So watch this space on Saturday evening and on our Monday review show. Last game is the game that must could only compare to Denton against Whaley Bridge. It's Poynton in sixth with games in hand against Nutsford in second. Poynton, we're on a 17-match unbeaten run until that Malpas defeat 4-3 just last week. And that really was a shock, bearing in mind the run and form that Poynton had been in. Malpas put up on a great display and took the points. Nutsford, won, they've won the last five in the league. And that really is title form, bearing in mind that one of those games, they dismantled Whaley Bridge 6-0. So in terms of that game, it's going to be a real ding-dong battle. And if you've got nothing better to do tomorrow, it's either Denton Whaley Bridge or Poynton Nutsford. Um, Poynton might think they've got the psychological edge in this one. They beat Nutsford as recently as the start of January, 3-1 in the Cheshire Cup quarter-final. They've not actually played in the league, so this is the first meeting of these title challenges. Not through that title experience, but the fixture secretary might just be saving the return not through pointed for closer to the end of the season. But I'll have to have a word with him to see when that game will be. Watch this space. Join us on Monday for the review show of the Premier Division. Into League One for the Hallmark Security uh, Cheshire Football League. And on Saturday the 11th, that's tomorrow, we've got Dayton against Grappanall, a nice local derby. Um, it was 4-0 to Dayton back in December, literally the last Saturday before the Christmas break. And Dayton sit in 10th, Grappanall sat sitting 16th. Dayton, their form is a bit up and down. They've, they've won one, drawn one and lost one in their last three matches. And that, that inconsistency must be infuriating for the manager. 
Grappenau did start the new year with two fantastic draws and looked like they're on the up. But in the last five games, they've drawn two and lost three. Can they improve? Can they close the gap? Because it does look as if they are bound for the trapdoor into League Two for next season. Next game up in, in that division, Goulburn Sports take on AFC Macclesfield. Ninth against fourth. Goulburn won four out of the last five games. They are on the up. They're looking to push, you know, looking for slip-ups from the teams above. Uh, AFC Macclesfield, they've won three, drawn one, lost one in their last five. The game between the two was a 2 all draw back in September. So money could be on a score draw. I wouldn't bet against it, actually. Both sides are happy to score goals, but not got the greatest defences. I'd go with a score draw. Lost Stock Grayling against Edgerton Sports. Relatively local uh, derby for them, 8th v 12th. Um, four points from the last 12 for, for Lost Stock, but four points from the last 12 for Edgerton too. These are in league games. Um, the last game was 5-4 to Lost Stock back in November. My money's on another high-scoring ding-dong battle. Hopefully, um, it'll be an entertaining game. Trying to predict the winner in that one, absolutely no clue. I think there will be a winner. Um, but I'm not sure which way that one's going to go. Mersey Valley um, against Cheadle Town, 7th v 15th. Mersey Valley, they've taken three points um, from the last 15. Um, <sighs> Cheadle Town reserves, what's going on there? They've lost the last 11 league games, but they've managed to qualify for the J.A. Walton Cup semi-final. Fantastic from them, great form in the Cup. They must be hoping that some of that rubs off in their league form. Back in November, it was 3-0 to Mersey Valley. Looking at the form, looking at the way it's going, the league table shaping up, I'd say Mersey Valley. Find out on Monday evening. The last game in League One. Surely this is the game of the day in League One. Warrington Town Reserves in first, taking on Pilkingtons in second. Both teams are on 46 points. Warrington do have a game in hand. Um, going back to the opening day of the season, it was 5-3 to Pilks. But both teams have come a long way since then, and there really is everything to pay to play for, not pay for, to play for. Um, Pilkington will want the win to uh, to jump to the top of the table. Warrington will be looking to create that cushion because currently they're only top on goal difference. Good luck to both sides, um, and I hope it's a truly entertaining game. I know that some Warrington fans aren't travelling up to Workington to watch the first team, so there should be some atmosphere down at Warrington Town tomorrow. Into League Two, and we've only actually got one league game in League Two on Saturday, the 11th of February, um, and that sees Diva Crystalton take on Win Stanley Warriors third against sixth. Some great form from Diva recently, nine points from 15, uh, but even better form from Win Stanley Warriors, 10 from 15. So looking at it again, another close game could be in store. Having said that, Diva Crystalton did take Win Stanley apart 7-1. Back in October, Diva obviously want that kind of result to put them right back in the title chasing mix. Win Stanley looking to close the gap from sixth up to those teams above them, especially with Broadheath having quite a few games in hand. It really is going to be an exciting end to the League Two season. And where will these two clubs be in that title challenge? Time will tell, but catch us on Monday evening for that review show. Thanks Rob. In reserve at Division 1, Billings take on Greenall's Padgate St Oswald. Uh, Billings sit at the bottom of the table on 8 points. Their opponents are in third on 27. Last time the two sides played each other, Billings came away with a victory, winning 2-1 in September. Could we see a repeat of that this weekend? Nutsford A play league leaders, Eagle Sports Reserves. The visitors will be hoping to extend the gap at the top from one point to three, as Linotype Judo Heath Nomads aren't playing in the league this weekend. A Nutsford win would move them into the top four. In reserve, Division 2, Pilkington take on Goldbourne Sports at Ruskin Drive. Uh, there are two positions separating the sides and seven points. Pilkington could move into the top five with a good result this weekend. In the J. Walton Challenge Cup, St. Helens host Orford in the final. Uh, quarter-final game. Uh, the winner will go on to face tough opposition in Warrington Town Reserves in the next round, which is the semi-final, um, and then the winner of that game will play either Broadheath Central or Cheadle Town Reserves in the final of the competition. It's the semi-finals of the Reserve Divisions Challenge Cup this weekend. Garswood United host Linotype Cheadle Heath Nomads and Style host AFC Macclesfield. Um, let us know who you think will get to the final of that competition in the comments below.
There's President's Cup action taking place this weekend. Uh, there are three games uh, across the entire competition. League 2 side Cuddington host Reserve Division 1 side Points and Reserves. Malpass Reserves take on League 1 side Middlewich Town. And Wibbenshaw Town Development Squad take on Rylands Reserves. In the Manchester FA Saturday Cup, Avro take on a Cheshire League Zone, Wibbenshaw Town. Uh, they are. This is a semi-final game, and uh, we'll be all we'll be hoping that Wibbenshaw go on and represent our league in the final of the competition. Three Cheshire League sides take part in the Crewe and District FA Cup this weekend. Uh, league Two side Sandbach United Reserves take on Premier Division side Crewe. And Congleton Vale from the Premier Division take on Sandbach Town away from home. In the Liverpool Saturday Cup, Ford Motors are away at Quarry Bank. Uh, that's all from the cups and reserve aspects um, of this video. That concludes our entire roundup. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll be back on Monday with the review of the week. Thank you very much. By the way, just another plug: SK Kits, and there you can see the uh, the uh, the sponsor. Our new uh, kit suppliers, and there'll be some exciting news for our clubs and teams about things we've got in store for you for next season. Um, the package of products and services that we're going to be offering to our teams um, from season 2017-2018. I'll speak to you on Monday evening.